Working for you, WRTV Stephanie Waite takes a closer look at these falling COVID numbers, what could be behind them, what they mean, and the message from healthcare workers tonight. This is welcomed news by those in healthcare fighting this virus every day. Cases have been on a steady decline for about a month now, and we wanted to look into why. We're, we're back to our normal operations, I'd say, you know, about 90, 98% of the, the way there. Hospitals like IU Health Methodist no longer feeling overwhelmed. There's no longer a dedicated unit or two or three um, that has really the majority of their patients being COVID. The chief medical officer says the amount of protective equipment his staff goes through is significantly less now. They're also able to take care of patients with other health issues instead of diverting them elsewhere. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a different hospital. After a year of battling this deadly virus. That amount of death, um, it can take a toll on you, particularly when you've been doing this uh, for, for not really two big waves uh, and then throughout the summer. He attributes the decrease in hospitalizations and death to the vaccine rollout, more widespread mask wearing and social distancing, and the, the third part of it is, you know, in the middle of the winter, um, people aren't traveling as much. Um, they may be getting together in small groups, but we really didn't see the large um, group gatherings uh, that we would have seen uh, in other types of the years. But warns this is not over. Uh, we're just in a low period uh, of COVID hospitalization. So we still got to keep our guard up uh, because there's still a, a significant potential for a next wave that comes in. Dr. Mark Ludekmeyer says if new variants infect the community, if people start gathering more as the weather gets warmer, this could all contribute to another spike. But he's hopeful we're on our way toward herd immunity if a significant majority of Hoosiers have already been infected and we continue to vaccinate the most vulnerable. Well, I hope we don't have another wave. Uh, I hope we continue to uh, um, get more people vaccinated. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. The chief medical officer says he believes we are making progress on herd immunity, but we need to know exactly how many people have contracted the virus, how many have not, and how many people have been vaccinated so far to know an exact percentage. Tonight